Hello everyone, Miss Plays here, back at it again. How are you doing today? I am playing the Wolf Among Us. So direct your questions to Miss White. Well, at least he's not trying to get rid of me. We're trying to fix the mirror. We've got the piece back from Crane's pocket. Did you take care of Toad? I mean, I saw the way he left. I know it may not seem that important right now, but glamours are the law for a very good reason. Look, I'll take care of it later. I told him we'd work it out so he'd get out of our hair. We don't have time to worry about that right now. Bigby, what did I tell you? He's unglamored when this whole thing is over. I'll send him to the farm. No questions asked, okay? <sighs> I gave Fine. him the money. We'll deal with it later. I know I should I change be my mind and I give him the money. It got like this. But I just keep wondering why it happened to Faith and Lily. You've seen his world. Do you have any idea why he'd want them dead? I don't know if the crooked man killed them with his own hand or if it was one of his goons, but someone did. What would make a person do that? What could those girls have done? I don't, I don't know. know. But when I catch the fucker who did this, I'll find out why. Sheriff, Miss White, I believe the mirror is Oh, finally. Okay, let's find out who the crooked man I is. I have to say I have been better. But thanks for putting me back together. I'm sorry. I just I have to know. Mirror, mirror, we're glad you weren't slain. Now please show us that sick creep crane. But he's getting tortured. Yeah, I want to see where he's ended up too. You will get on that plane to Paris, and you will wait for the day the crooked man needs you. Until then, not a peep. Otherwise, I get to deal with you my way, so please, please disobey. Wait a minute, someone's watching. Okay, <clears throat> pardon me. So, oh, she's gonna come through. Shit. What just happened? We pointed you in the wrong direction. We looked at Bloody Mary's reflection. Oh, her. That explains the sting. I'd rather not have. So, to feel like when the mirror focuses cheese. on people, they start speaking so, in rhymes too. Let's not do that again. That's okay. really interesting. I thought she was going to come through the mirror. Track him down later. You're right. We need to focus on the immediate threat, and that's the crooked man. Bigby, we don't have a lot of time. <sighs> mirror, mirror, no time to pout. So. Where does Crooked Man hang out? I don't recognize the door, but that's the Jesus. Crooked Man symbol on it. Hold I think you'd want to lay low. This door does move around. Door, it moves. What I tell you? Wait a minute. I know that door. That's Central Park. I don't know when it's going to move again, but I'm going to get there before it does. Bigby, wait. When you get the crooked man, make sure you bring him back alive. He has to stand trial. Okay. This can't be like it was with Tweedledum. I don't care if it gets out of hand. You don't let it come to that. I know that emotions can run high, and you have your reasons to handle this a certain way. I'll catch him and bring him back here, alive. Then we can clean him and cook him together. Good. I have enough to worry about here while I prepare the case against him. So I'm going to trust you to handle this properly. That is, if you think you're ready. Of course I'm ready. I got no other choice. <laughs> Snow White is a bit, um... She's a bit lectury, like pedal stilly. She doesn't really seem to appreciate the good I actually do at, you know, the personal expense to myself and my body. When I got half killed, the symbol's gone. I was immediately told, um, hey, you shouldn't have killed Tweedledum. It's like, are you joking? Awesome. Still open then. I bet if you knock, it disappears. It's going to turn into a door. Oh shit. Well, I was wrong about the taxi cab being the moving door. I thought that would have been a cool twist. It wasn't magic at all, but it was a car. Tim, who the fuck is this? What 
the hell are you doing here? Good evening, Sheriff. I'm here to take you to the boss. Thanks, by the way, for leaving off Tiny. Tiny Tim. I have Tim. to admit, when they asked me to watch the door, I wasn't sure what to expect when you came through that portal. Hold on. You've just been waiting for me to show up? You knew I was coming? That's what they told me. I don't know, they said you made it pretty clear. I'm supposed to bring you right on in, so if you'll come this way. Look, this is the one thing I have to do. Please don't make this hard on me. Fine, lead on. Who do you work for? Thanks for understanding. This is all I'm here to do. And so, Tiny Tim's from A Christmas Carol? <laughs> I know I'm probably the last person you'd expect to be a guard. You shouldn't be here, Tim. This place is dangerous. Especially for someone like you. It's not like that. Whatever you may think of him, he doesn't treat me like some broken little kid. He's a fucking... I think he gets what it's like. He's a mafia man. He gave me a job. He's a killer. And I'm lucky to have it. This is the only option I've got. Just keep that in mind, maybe? Because if you and the boss go up against each other, the rest of Fable Town is going to get caught in the middle. Don't you realize you're not just minding the door? Work for that crooked bastard, your hands get dirty, too. It's not so bad. Not so bad? Are you fucking blind, Tim? He's a murderer. So you're telling me you agree with everything Crane does? You try to kill me. Try to kill Snow White, like... A lot of us depend on him. Some of us never get to the front of the line at the business office. But he's there. We need you, Okay, so this is a too. big kind of... What we don't bourgeois... Is a working war. class versus the bourgeoisie. Hey, Sheriff, hold up. I gotta go in with you. Can't you just wait up, Sheriff? Hold on. Okay, fucking hell. This better not be Thanks. a trick. <laughs> some kind of fucking joke what did I tell you? Stop laughing at me. Tell me who the oh, fuck yeah? is back there. I ain't scared. I, I don't exactly so know. Cool. I, I just mind the door. You the boss is worry. there. He'll come around. That much. And like Crane before him. I'm sure he will prove himself quite handy to have in my pocket. Either he's smart enough to see this is for the best, or dim enough to do as he's told. Here we go. What the fuck? Holy shit! These three cunts. Jersey Devil, the Living Tweedle, and Georgie. So who is this dude? I was wondering when you turned what up. What the hell? I'm so sorry, sir. I had no it's idea right, he would. Tim. I shouldn't have expected the sheriff to give you respect enough to do your job, but you did fine. You can go now. So who is this dude? You see. Everyone in Fable Town has a role to fill. You just have to pay attention to what they need to help them find it. Why don't you have a seat, Sheriff? We have a great deal to discuss. Let's talk. I want to hear what's going on. Let's not go out guns blazing right. just yet. You got me here. Let's talk. Is that the end? That's get that's short. These are getting shorter. I feel like that was less eventful. I'm not even clear where the last this episode started. Um, Narissa came to my office. I got the mirror piece back from the pawn shop found the thing in the butcher's back office kind of thing and, and found out who the crooked man is but still no information on him uh, <clears throat> yeah that one wasn't that good so I won't discuss it much I'll uh, I'll go straight on it's, it's only 10 minutes let's just go on to the next video I'll pause it 
I mean, so if I'm right, eyes, that last episode was maybe what one hour, You're ten not minutes. Really supposed to do that, are you? That's pretty short. The thing I noticed about this is that uh, the next time clips never seem to occur. I know they probably haven't finished the next avoid. episode by the time they make that little teaser, which I don't think should be in, and it's not skippable. It's crazy. But yeah, there's a lot of clips that just do not happen, like um, him pushing over Snow's chair. I remember that. Um, just certain shots are not in the no. in the game as is. Holly's sister, Lily. So this is the final episode. I just don't know what Bigby's doing. If he if he cares about it, if he even gives. Can we a just shit. skip this crap? That's why you can't tell me anything. It's the ribbon, isn't it? We're destroying the tree. No! no! We're not burning the tree, Snow. <coughs> Pardon me. Hey, I think uh, maybe the really crooked man has the glamour farm, on. Maybe a powerful uh, glamour. Snow will come around. She's just... You know, the crane thing hit her hard, and she doesn't really know who her friends are right now. <laughs> There was a bit of a Bloody Mary in the clip, and oh God, Big B! I just don't like her character. She's this time was no joke. He just comes off as really fucking cheesy. You see fit, but take just one more silver round near your heart, and the only place I'll be I like his painting. Is the morgue. Oh, is that Red Riding Hood? That's what we had. Bigby, He's got wait. a photo of her. When you get the crooked man, make the sure you bring to eat. him back alive. He has to stand trial. Okay, okay. Why don't you have a seat, Sheriff? We have a great deal to discuss. Right, who are you? Are you like who's that guy with the flute? The story hasn't been good since the first episode, I don't think. There's been a strong case of kind of run on empty, I think. You must be tired. I think since the faked out killing Snow White, it's kind of went downhill a bit. Even though I got how they got yeah, out of it, it wasn't yeah, like a I jump the shock moment. Recently. It just felt like they still didn't have balls to kill her off. It was such a Be shocking sure. note to end on, and then to say, "Oh, by the way, for a moment, will you? she's not dead." Do you want a drink? Something to eat? Dude, who the fuck Vivian are you? makes a very nice, very. It's elegant, really. A carpaccio. It's lobster, sirloin. Don't misunderstand the situation here. We are not friends, and you're in no position to offer me anything. On the contrary, Sheriff. And I don't wish to contradict you here, but your initiative and mine have been friendly for a long while now. Ever since I came aboard these shores, you know, Fable Town's been very accommodating of my humble ventures. Yeah? Well, you can forget all that. It's over with. What do you think you're doing? He's gonna. Mr. Wolf is our guest, and I have every intention of cooperating. So don't waste the silver. Sit down, Jersey. Well, Sheriff. He's got a painting. For the sake of transparency, why don't you tell us why you're here? It would help settle everyone's nerves, I think. You know why I'm here. You killed those women. What women? Faith and Lily, the girls who worked at the Pudding and Pie. Did I now? I assume by your confidence in accusing me, you must have some proof of this, yes? Some allotment of evidence. A witness, perhaps. Hmm? Your servant over there told me you did it. That's a fucking lie! I didn't say anything like it's that! fine. All I said was that this was your town, and nothing wouldn't happen without your approval. 
All right, that's it. Is that James Woods? Those women. I don't relish telling you that the killings were perpetrated by an employee of mine. It's a very unfortunate bit of business, but I promise you that the matter will be Who? dealt with internally. I just want to settle the issue for you and to assure you that it's over with. An unfortunate bit of business? You're gonna tell me right now who killed him. Sheriff, I have complete respect for you and your job. I hope you know that. But I simply can't divulge that information. You really shouldn't worry yourself. As I said, I've got this under control. No, I'm gonna deal with it right now. Yeah, right. What do you think this is? Is that James Woods? Some kind of negotiation. The man said he'd take care of it. So why don't you take the hint and get out? Twiddledee, please. I'm the law here, not you. Now tell me who did it. Or what? You're gonna kill me too? Well, go ahead. You think I give a shit anymore? After what you did? That's enough. I was hoping it wouldn't come to this, but in the interest of preserving our alliance, if you have to know, it was Georgie. You twat. You fucking cunt. However, like I said, I'll be handling the matter if you don't mind. Georgie. You got what you wanted, so just sit down now. Yeah, I killed him, so what? You should have just kept your nose where it fucking belonged. Why'd you do it? Why kill them? Does it matter? Look, the fact is, George here misinterpreted one of my instructions. Misinterpreted? And I want to make things right. So, let's work something out. What's there to work out? I'm protected, aren't I? Your protection has limits, and I think you've far exceeded yours. But you could murder someone in cold blood like that. You fucking asked me to do this! And then you attempt me to, to kill blame him. me for it. You will be silent while we discuss what to do with you. This is right, bollocks, sis. You're just gonna let him do this? Yep. So what do you say, Sheriff? Can we discuss terms? You can have Georgie. Consider it a gift. Ensuring our continued cooperation. What the hell? I think I'll be taking both of you. You're not taking me, you fucking ponce. What the fuck is this shit? You said you'd cover for us. For minor infractions, not murder. Just go with him, Georgie. You're gonna sink us all. What's wrong with you, Sounds Diesel? like James Woods. You're really gonna sell him out just like you that? You can't give a fuck if I'm the one... They're all, all gonna kill each other. You think you fuck us the fuck out of here. I do apologize, Sheriff, but I think it's best if you leave now. There's no way I'm going with him. Are you kidding me? Things are about to get unpleasant, and I would rather you weren't here to watch. You can go join that whore at the bottom of the lake for all I give a shit, but he's not taking me anywhere. I'll roll over on the lot of you before I let that shit happen. What are you saying? Yeah, what the fuck? You're gonna make sure we all go down this shitter with you? I'm running out of patience, crooked man. I don't have time to fuck around here. This could have gone so well. Who are you but really? You just had to complicate things. Yep. To speak the truth, I'd never been a very good mediator. Why negotiate when you can just decide? Hmm. Bloody Mary, you cunt. <laughs> I thought I you should have done that to the magic good? mirror. That would have been cool. Ring well, style. You all fixed up. I just don't like the look of her. Like the red fringe thing. It's just stupid. Why aren't they fucking fighting each other? Is that meant to be a Wendingo? Holy shit, awesome. You're done, Wolf! Come on, we're pretty much done here. I'd like to say it was nice knowing you, but I'll be glad to see your insides turned out. Oh, come on, backflip. Oh, nice. 
I doubt this could have went any other way, to be honest. Holy shit. I need to arrest him. Who throws a lamp? This way. Quick about it then. We're gonna be in Central Park. Come on, Dorothy. Oh shit! I know. We're gonna chase the car. It was red in the uh, the preview video. Who is that? I can't remember who that is. Who is that woman? Shit, man, people are gonna see me. What's the thing at the bottom for? Awesome. Do they have spells so they uh they can't see this shit? Wolfman, baby! I don't know what the fucking thing at the bottom is. Go on, call Snow White. Find one of them big brick mobile phones. I need a cleanup crew! So, memory forget spells. Holy shit. Straight out of Van Helsing. Yeah, the car was red in the preview. Shit. Fuck! What was that? What do you think it was? Jesus. That's a crooked bitch. It was the steering wheel. No! Oh. Take him off! I can't! So that could have been very different. If you knew Crooked Man was in that car, I wonder how different the episode is. Does he just shake you up as well? Come on. Sniff him. Are you sure? Do it! Who is that? Who is that woman? He's not moving. Keep going! I didn't know. Felt like just standing there, seeing what that would have done. They didn't think about hiding. Yeah, go stick some clothes on. This game is so awesome looking. Okay, let's examine the blood, eh? This car looks like it's rec recently been drove. Bad than you thought? Worse than you thought? Yeah, yeah, I just saw that. Okay, come on. This could be a trap. What did Narissa mean about my friends? Said something about know who your friends are, kind of thing. Come on, we can't stay here. Is there going to be some twist in this? Hang like the chicken down? I need a minute. Okay. Getting the thing out the safe. I had no option not to stab him, so... Shit. This always... 
this always that plays out be. the same for everyone. I hope you'd come to your senses. Snow White told me not to kill him. <laughs> oh, crooked man's the one you want. But of course, you're too much of an idiot to see that. Or maybe you just like me too much to let me go. I'm taking you in, Georgie. Let's go. <sighs> you gonna carry me? Please, Sheriff. Haven't you done enough? Look at him. He's dying. You can't seriously want to protect this guy. You know what he did. I'm not going anywhere. Well, I'll rip your fucking head off as well, then. It isn't his fault. He's a Are murderer. You Faith and Lily, he's the reason they're dead. Look, oh, I like I how the sign's still mistakes. broke. We all have. A few mistakes. What? He made sure they couldn't talk with those damn ribbons, and then he killed them. You're wearing one yourself. Doesn't that bother you even a little, knowing that man murdered? Of course it does. Those girls. So it's all my fucking fault then. I you didn't fucking. Mean... Ah! Vivian, you're gonna you... throw me to the fucking wolf too. Vivian, you, you know kill I didn't him, have a goddamn choice. What the fuck? I did what I had to. You can't fucking blame me for that. Look. Why'd you do it then, huh? If it's not your fault, then what the fuck happened? Ooh. Look. Faith and the others tried to pull a run on us. And as you can imagine, the crooked man wasn't too thrilled. But of course, the big boss didn't want to get his fucking hands dirty. So he told me to take care of it. You think I don't know what that means? Either I do what he says or I'm the one getting dealt with. Yep. So I fucking killed him. And I'd do it again. Okay. Because it's not my fault. The crooked man gave the order. He told me to kill them. And then he fucking sold me out. That's not my problem. Oh, I get it. When a pretty little girl shows up at your door wanting help, you've got all the time in the world. But when I've got something to say, it's not your problem. You're a fucking murderer. <laughs> Jesus. My heart well, bleeds. Fuck you. Go ahead and arrest me then. But it won't bring back Lily or Faith. It won't free your friend Narissa. And I'm just the sap taking the fall for the whole thing. You're really trying to guilt trip so me. Being you. Just come in here and blame me for all this shit. Job's done, right? George is the bad guy. It's all his fucking fault. Oh, oh, oh. But what was I supposed to do? You don't know what it's like, Bigby. How could you know? At the end of the day, you're just like him. Stop complaining and take responsibility for what you did. You murdered Faith and Lily. You put those fucking ribbons around their necks. You had the power to let him go, but you chose not to. You don't know what the fuck you're talking about. If I freed them... What would you have me do? Kill her? Georgie, don't. It was them or Vivian. So you tell me, if free Lily meant she had to die... Do you still think I had a fucking choice? What are you doing? I told you, you don't know the fuck about anything. What are you talking about? This is the original. What? The girl with the ribbon. I'm sure you've heard the stories. Couldn't take it off, couldn't talk about it. She used her little purple ribbon to make more of them. To keep our girls quiet. To ensure absolute discretion. You promised you wouldn't. All that magic is connected to this little thing. You remove hers, and the spell's broken. They're all free. But you know what happens to her? The same thing that happened to Faith. So don't you come in here and tell me I fucked up. What the hell, Georgie? We were supposed to look out for each other. I trusted you. You can't fucking blame me. You're not innocent here either. Wait, so you've been helping this asshole? I thought you cared about them. I do. Of course I do. You have to understand. How about you just all come to die? When we built this place, it, it was just a stupid idea, a gimmick. Discretion is our guarantee. That's how it started anyway. This was supposed to be our place. We were going to be in charge for once, and nobody would try to control us or use us. That was the point. And the crooked man showed up, and everything just turned to shit. So, do you get it now? Why I couldn't just... Justify murder. If you Great. still think it's so fucking simple, then you do it. Go right ahead. Kill her, then. What are you doing? Break the spell. Save the fucking day. Okay guys, I'm going to have to leave it there. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please like, comment and subscribe and catch me next time for some more 
The Wolf Among Us. Goodbye, guys.